In this video I'm going to be looking at the DID 520ERVT X-Ring chain intended for off-road use. For the past five years or so I've been using the DID 520VT2 chain on my off-road bikes and I've been very pleased with the longevity and performance of uh, the VT2. So I was interested to see that recently DID announced a new chain, the 520ERVT, which has uh, several features uh, which improve on the VT2. Here you can see the 520ERVT chain, and uh, the biggest difference compared to the VT2 is the inner plate thickness is reduced uh, to about 1.8 millimeters compared to 2 millimeters for the VT2. Uh, this results in an overall uh, chain width reduction, and I've measured this to be uh, about 16.4 millimeters on the ERVT, and on the VT2 it's about 16.6 millimeters. And here's a summary of the key specifications and differences between the two chains. As I mentioned before, the ERVT has a narrower inner plate thickness, uh, which results in a narrow overall uh, chain thickness. Uh, this should result in some uh, improvements in friction uh, when going through the chain guides and it also results in a, uh, a slight weight saving. I measured the difference as 1% uh, between the two chains, DID listed as 2%. Um, it's not much of a difference so I wouldn't go out and buy one because of the weight saving. But uh, more interestingly is uh, the wear resistance numbers and the ERVT um, is listed as being about 15% more wear resistant. Um, so that's obviously an attractive thing uh, to consider. You should get a longer life. And the 520 ERVT is available in kits with either a Clip Master or a Rivet Master. As you can see here, I ordered the Clip Master and it uh, comes with four X rings, uh, some grease for the X rings and a link, and also the master link. Um, the plate, um, you should note, needs to be pressed onto the master. Uh, it can't be just pushed on with your fingers. Uh, you need a press tool to do that. And that offers some additional security in case the uh, clip comes off. I've never had an issue, but uh, if it did come off, you know the, uh, the plate wouldn't just drop off. And here you can see I've installed the new ERVT chain. And uh, when you change the chain, always inspect the condition of the uh, front and rear sprockets before putting the new chain on. If the teeth start looking hooked, uh, you definitely want to change the uh, sprocket. But these uh, rear super sprock sprockets with the steel outer last incredibly well, and uh, there's certainly no reason to change the sprocket with each chain change unless it does start uh, looking worn. But uh, I'm getting really good wear out of these, so I recommend those. Um, so um, I've adjusted the chain tension and I'm all ready for my next ride tomorrow.